What's up, everybody? This is Whiskey in the Six. I'm Rob. Doing a, another Canadian whiskey, stock and barrel, hashtag Canada 150. That's pretty much what this is called, actually. Uh, hashtag Canada 150. If you go on the LCBO website, it literally says stock and barrel, hashtag Canada 150. Obviously, this is to celebrate Canada's 150th anniversary slash birthday. Um, this one's bottled at 50%. I recently did the Stock and Barrel Red. This is another blend. So Stock and Barrel was known for a long time for their single malt, their 100% rye, their 100% corn. They have a 46% version and a cast strength version. They now have three blends. Two of them are the are the common um, blue and red that I think they'll be doing annually. Uh, this one is just to celebrate this year. So <clears throat> it is 50% ABV. Um, it's a combination of corn, barley, and rye. And what happened was they stumbled upon in their distillery a really nice tasting older or older for the rest of, compared to the rest of their stock uh, corn whiskey so they decided to use that five-year-old or five plus year old uh, corn whiskey as the base of this Canada 150 pretty cool bottle has the nice flag to represent what it's all about I'm gonna taste it and give it a mark I'm also using my stock and barrel Glencairn glass The nose is really nice on this one. It's delicate. You can't tell that it's 50%. There's a little bit of floralness, a sweet buttery note. You can tell the rise in there for sure. And the, the barley's in there to ground it a little bit, to kind of give it those earthy tones that you associate with malted barley. Okay. On the palate. It's sweet. It has a nice, almost chamomile type floral note which develops into a nice rye spice. You get the butteriness from that corn, like I said, on the palate as well. It's really nice, nicely blended, really good balance. This is definitely my favorite from the stock and barrel line so far. It's limited, so I highly recommend if you're interested, especially if you live in Ontario, go on their website, pick up a bottle, because it's not gonna last that long, and it's really, really nice, okay? I can't wait until this company has a 15-year-old whiskey or a even 10-year-old whiskey, because what they're doing with stuff that's three years old and up, so between three and seven years old, um, it is really, really impressive. So in a few more years, they're gonna have some awesome stuff in my opinion. I, honestly, I believe that this is awesome stuff. This is an A for me. It's, if I had to give it a numeric grade, it's probably an 85. So right on the cusp, of what I consider an A. But that's also, I would even on a, argue that it could be a point or two higher than that. So, definitely an A, really nice stuff. Got a great mouthfeel, it's buttery on the palate. This is one that you can use to do a cocktail because it's not gonna break the bank at $45 at the LCBO. 
uh, but you can easily sip this whiskey. So I don't recommend you make cocktails out of it, but with that 50%, it's kind of attractive to want to try a couple and see what you can make. Um, the old fashioned that they collaborated to produce would probably be pretty cool at around 45 to 50%. So that's something to consider also if you decide to buy one of these bottles. I really like it. I highly recommend it. And what's cool about it is I can literally drive to this distillery. It's probably about 25 minutes from my house, maybe less, um, and pick up a whole bunch of high quality whiskey. And this is what this is all about. I'm currently in the works with another distillery that's also local, probably even closer, about 15 minutes from my house, called Last Straw Distillery. This is their moonshine. It's called Darker Side of the Moonshine. Bottled at 50, or sorry, 46%. Um, I'm gonna be doing a review on that, although I've never done a moonshine review. It's really cool stuff, and I've had an opportunity to work with Don, uh, who is owner and, or one of the owners and master distiller there, and we will be collaborating on a whiskey um, that will be affiliated with Whiskey in the Six. Pretty impressive stuff, pretty cool experience that I'm going to get to partake in so I'll share all of the details in the time to in the next little while but uh, I'm super excited about it so that's uh, Last Straw Distillery who's producing some pretty cool stuff and they're just getting better and better um, these guys are doing the same all right stocking barrel is really cool I'm really happy that I have these kinds of options these micro distilleries who we would all benefit from getting behind because that's what drives quality into the market because everybody's forced to really pay attention to what they're doing and not produce uh, garbage products that are bottled at 40 percent and have all sorts of color and all sorts of other things added to them all right um, that's not the case with these guys they're trying it they're trying to do it the right way uh, they're fighting a battle against taxes and whatnot in Ontario and hopefully with our support they can win that battle all right um, I got a whole bunch of cool stuff coming up guys so I'm pretty excited about it I hope you guys are excited about it I'm going to be doing the edition 3 when I get it my brother's currently in the US hopefully he brings one back for me that's still up in the air if not I'll do my McAllen classic cut alongside this sample of McAllen cast strength because it's awesome and I can't wait to review that one. All right, cheers.